Then I would like to call this meeting to order. Welcome to the meeting of the Board of Selectmen for January 8th, 2019. Uh, we will start with the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are there any uh, members of the public who would like to contribute to the public session section of the meeting? No. <laughs> Seeing none. Okay. We will move right on to our only agenda item tonight, which is an opening of a special town meeting warrant. Um, this will be for, would be, if approved, for a town meeting to be held, I believe, on February 11th. And the meeting warrant would close on January 23rd. And this is in relation, uh, Mr. Kamal, I assume I can explain the details a little bit of this. Yes, um, through the chair. Mr. Kamal. As we reported to the board at <coughs> its last meeting, um, Lichen Biologics. Uh, has met with town staff uh, to discuss their interest in locating here in Hopkinton uh, at 97 South Street. Uh, Lichen is a company that deals with gene science. Uh, they have told us that they are in the cutting edge uh, relative to uh, this process. Uh, they consider themselves as a manufacturing entity uh, and in our discussions uh, with um, the state level agencies that deal with bioscience, uh, they have indicated to us, uh, meaning uh, mass bio, has indicated to us that uh, this is a type of use that M Massachusetts desires. Um, we have done very well in doing the other science, uh, the other side uh, of biotech and there is a need to bring in the manufacturing component. Um, so putting this in the context of Hopkinton, um, our assessment is that the, uh, the following factors I think that, that are important for this discussion. Uh, one, um, 97 South Street is currently vacant. Uh, there is a desire in the town to ensure um, that we uh, do not have vacant properties uh, and so we, we have an opportunity uh, to, fill, to fill a vacant, a vacant space. And then two, uh, in <coughs> my discussions with multiple boards in town, whether we are a town meeting or we're meeting with the appropriations committee uh, or discussing the land use master plan, there is a specific desire on the part of the town to support um, biotech industries. Uh, we have said Hopkinton is open for businesses, specifically businesses that the town desires uh, to have in town. And this kind of operation is one such industry. Um, and then thirdly, clearly, um, <coughs> continuing to support a strong local economic base, I think, is is a primary goal of this community. Uh, that's important for our AAA rating. It's important for the cost of borrowing in town. Uh, and most importantly, uh, it's part of that whole process of creating good jobs. Uh, in our discussions with Lycan, they've indicated that uh, for the most part, they will be uh, looking for technicians, uh, and their pay range will be right around the 90 to 110,000 range. Uh, and um, I, I, what they have also indicated to us is that they, are, they have been looking, Lycan has been looking at uh, another location in the western part of the country. Uh, however, given the relationship, the existing relationship between the uh, principals at Lycan and the owners of 97 South Street, Hopkinton has moved up the ladder. They really want to locate in Hopkinton, uh, and they want to make their business decision to do so um, 
uh, by mid by mid February, and it is for that reason that uh, we are asking the board to consider uh, setting a special town meeting for February 11th that allows uh, Lycan to then move to the state level approval process for a TIF. Um, what this means is if the special town meeting date is February 11th, the board has to set that meeting by today so that we can post, if the board is inclined to, to approve the special town meeting, uh, we can then uh, send the notice to the newspapers as early as tomorrow. Uh, the notice will be published in the newspaper January 14th. Uh, town boards and departments and officials notified of the special town meeting on January 14th. Articles are due to the Board of Selectmen by close of business day on January 23rd. And then the Board of Selectmen will vote to sign the special town meeting warrant on January 25th. Uh, this will require a special meeting. And then the warrant is to be posted at least 14 days before the special town meeting, and that is January 28th. Are there questions or comments from the board? Mr. Herr. So I like everything about what you're describing as an opportunity for the town, except for the fact that it's a special town meeting request. Um, that's not to say I wouldn't support it, but I just want to understand a little bit more. You said we're going to move to the top of the list for Lycaton. Is it Lycaton? Is that the correct? Lycan. L-Y-K-A-N. Lycan. Yes. Okay. Uh, are we going to move to the top of the list, or we're going to be at the top of the list? Like, what are what if we hold? So, my concern is we hold a special town meeting, and they still go to California or somewhere else, even though we went out and spent some money and figured out how to get 150 people to show up, or whatever the number is. This is not going to be an easy one to get people to show up to. Yeah, um, that's a very good question. I think based on our discussions with Lycan, they have not specifically said that. Um, they are moving into Hopkinton. However, they have uh, stated a commitment to making sure that they make a, be a good business decision regarding where they will get next. To that end, they have even offered to contribute towards paying for the cost, for some of the costs associated with the special town meeting. They've also agreed to pay for the costs uh, for town council services regarding this particular request. Uh, and they have been very responsive in providing all the information that is needed to at least begin looking into and investigating this request for a TIF. So if they were to split 50-50 the cost of the special town meeting, I think that's a good way to start a partnership and business together, so that sounds great. Yep. I put that 50% out there, but I don't know what you're working on. I'm sure you can figure out the details of that, but I appreciate their willingness to do that very much. Yeah. Yep. Agreed. Mr. any questions? Nope. Agreed. Mr. Nesuto? Uh, I'm, I'm in complete agreement. I think it's great that they're going to share the costs. Have they given any kind of detail as to what, they, what percentage they'd be willing to share? These are negotiations. We are still in the middle of negotiations. Broadly speaking, they have identified a cap, and I can understand why. I, they, in other words, they are saying this, they're not giving us a blank check. Sure. Uh, however, I have stressed to them that it's important <coughs> that they show a commitment to funding a cost that the town otherwise would not be having uh, were it not for their request for a TIF. So, I'm sorry. Um, um, as I understand the TIF, it is a, a tax exemption for value that is added to the property as a result of either re rehabilitation, um, new equipment, um, any improvements that's all the only difference um, and that it can be up to a hundred percent and it can also be for a maximum of a 20-year period so those two factors what the percentage is and how long the tip would be good for 
we don't know that now that would be negotiated between now and town meeting or is that to be determined after after the, when when will we know those terms we in fact are in the middle of the negotiations as we speak um, possibly just speaking broadly they are interested in a 10-year term mm -hmm. uh, they have uh, indicated exemptions that are comparable to what the town approved for the Pekin Elma TIF. Um, we have John Nis, the town's principal assessor, going through those numbers, who was scheduled to meet uh, this coming Friday uh, so that the town can give them their feedback. Uh, simultaneously, we're also hoping that we can begin putting together the building blocks for the TIF agreement should the town uh, decide to move forward. So will we know those details before town meeting, or are you saying those will be worked out once town meeting approves the TIF? We will know those details before town meeting. Okay. So we'll know what people know what they're voting for. Correct. Words. Okay. Claire, <laughs> my goodness. Are there other I questions have another or comments, question Mr. Hurd? Yes, please. Particular request for a special town meeting from the, from this company, uh, but in addition to that, what is going to be our guidance and what is going to be our um, overall approach to try and manage what else comes in during this special town meeting? Because once we open the warrant. We open it up to all the department heads, to any citizen petitions, to all kinds of different um, entities that can, by law, come in and get in, try to get in on the warrant. And I'm trying to figure out what's the plan, what is our general approach to a special town meeting just three months prior to a regular town meeting, and some of the confusion that may or may not cause, and some of the opportunities some may seek to uh, explore to, uh, you know, for certain things in, on their wish list? Um, if, if I may, I may suggest two parameters for the board's consideration. One, public safety emergencies. If there's any public safety related emergency that the town needs to address, perhaps that could be considered. Number two, there could be prior year financial processes that we need to complete. Uh, it, those are much easier to handle in a special town meeting. Uh, they are not tied to, those processes should not be tied to the FY20 budget process. For example, there could be prior year bills, uh, there could be prior articles that require some level of adjustment. Uh, also, for, for, at least for, for the budget development process, if there are any articles that are no longer needed, uh, and we could free up those funds and make them available for the um, uh, annual town meeting process, I think that we should encourage those articles. So basically, um, emergencies that are related to public safety, and then two, uh, prior year financial articles that require resolution prior to the annual town meeting. Do you foresee any of those to be presented for our special town meeting? Yes, I, I, I have a couple in mind. Um, in terms of pri prior financials, clearly there may be bills. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm aware of a couple bills that have been brought to our attention. Uh, there is a dam safety re related article that was approved at the past annual town meeting. Bids came in higher than the amount that was approved. And then there's also a public safety related project uh, pertaining to uh, that whole decision by Verizon to discontinue, discontinue copper wires. That progress is in, that project is in progress now and we've identified additional expenses that need to be paid for. So far, I th those are the ones that come to mind. So I was kind of hoping you'd say, yes, I found a lot of people that didn't spend the money they were supposed to, and we have excess overflow. We, we're looking into that. We, we have Todd looking into that. <laughs> oh, geez, good luck. <laughs> He's well, on it. Yeah. I, I mean, I suppose adding things to the warrant will increase the probability of getting a quorum at the meeting. I mean, the more things there are, 
the more motivation there will be because didn't we increase our quorum a couple of years or s from 100 to 117? 1% We'll have to do some good PR. There was a little fuzzy math around that hundred a few years ago, a couple of times too. So, yeah. 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 If I through the chair, if I may, one other one other project that comes to mind is um, the matter regarding the legacy farms host community agreements and related gifts. Uh, I have been, as I've shared with the board, I have been discussing with town council. Um, different instruments that can be used to account for those gifts. So you'd add that to the agenda? Yes. Or possibly add that? Yeah. I'm okay with administrative cleanup work and prior year stuff and HCA things and so forth. I guess I just don't want to create a whole second town meeting because I do think it's going to be a challenge getting enough people to focus on a night. We sure as heck can't have this go into two nights. No. Uh, I think that would be really hard to populate. And, and not fair to everybody that three months later is going to be coming back again. Well, not only that, I'm not sure if we loaded it up with a whole bunch of other things that might affect the amount of reimbursement that the company, Lycan, is willing to right. give this us if it turns into they're paying for our town meeting as opposed to just their special article. But there's a, there's a balance point because you do want to get you do want to get people in. But um, if I may ask Mr. Kamal, years past I was kind of always under this impression it seemed special town meetings tended to have a financial component. Like you couldn't throw in bylaw changes and stuff at all usually I thought revolved. Are there any restrictions that we could make clear so that people don't start throwing in all kinds of related stuff when we suddenly end up with a second town meeting? Um, if that, if that's just my impression, and I'm yeah. wrong. I don't believe there's a specific policy. There may be a tradition yeah. or a past practice, um, but I don't believe there's a specific policy that, that defines what goes into. Yeah, once town you meeting. open the warrant, it is open. Period. Yeah. There's nothing we can't then judge what gets goes on that, yeah. or at least gets the attempt to put on that warrant. We we'll take our chances. So, Mr. are we confident we're going to be able to get the requisite number of people with just a few cleanup items and then the like an issue? That's the only uh, yeah. concern I have is we can have enough attendance. We. When this came to our attention, this is the question that we put forth to Lycan, i.e. this is a pretty aggressive schedule. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's a special town meeting that will okay in February, right before school vacation. And thus, we put it on Lycan to make sure that they can actually get people to attend the special town meeting. Here's what they told us. They've actually hired a consultant to help in that regard. So this is not school vacation week, correct? It's just before. So it's the Monday before? Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah. You should just start saying no. It's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> just a mess of it. No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the special town meeting before us, just to make sure I understand, the warrant would open tomorrow. January 9th, it would close January 23rd. The town special town meeting would be held February 11th, and this board will need to convene in a special meeting January 25th to sign that warrant. Got those correct? Correct. Is there a motion uh, to approve the opening of a special town meeting warrant for February 11th, 2019? So moved. Or second. Second. All right. That has been moved and seconded. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 And opposed? Unanimous. And is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. 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 All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? That's unanimous. Thank you very much. The board will meet again on January 15th, a week from tonight. A week from tonight. Thank you. Thank you.